Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Roxy. So today's inspiration is from the above table lamp I saw from Pinterest. I really loved it and I wanted to do a version of this using simpler materials which you can get at your local shop. I'll be making another table lamp so if you're interested, keep on watching. And these are the materials that I'll be using to make the lamp. I had my MDF wood cut into circular shape which will cover the tube. And also this cardboard tube, I got it from a dustbin. It had been thrown away. So I took it and reused it for my project. It's kind of hard and good for the project. And also I'll be using the this vinyl paper or the reflective brushed gold paper I'll be using for the project. As for the second project, I'll be using the mirror tiles, which will make the second table lamp. And if you're interested with the mirror tiles, I'll put the contact in the description box on where you can buy them. So I'll be covering the cardboard tube using the mirror tiles to make my table lamp. So let's start guys. I started by taking the measurements of the cardboard tube. I had to make some points all around the cardboard tube and after making the points all around I used my tape measure to join the points so as to guide me on where to cut the cardboard. I used my hacksaw blade to cut it. Since the cardboard is a bit hard I had to use hacksaw on this part to cut the cardboard into two pieces. For the first table lamp, these are the items that I used to make the first table lamp. There is a bulb holder which will be fixed on the MDF wood using some screws. Then the second item, I used a chrome pipe which will be fixed in the middle part of the table lamp. And the chrome pipe will be held by some chrome support or the chrome holders which will be fixed on the both ends of the chrome pipe so i started by fixing up the pipe holders onto the mdf wood using some screws My MDF was a bit thin so the screws will pop up on the other side so I had to add another small MDF so as to prevent the screws from going through. Once I was done screwing down the pipe holder on the MDF board, I went ahead and fixed the pipe in the holder and then on the side I added some screws which will hold the pipe in place inside the holder. Once the pipe was well secured, I went ahead and applied some wood glue all around the cardboard pipe and then I fixed it to the MDF wood and left it to dry for about 30 minutes before proceeding to the next part. As for the next step, it was doing the wiring for the bulb holder. So I had to fix the wire which will go direct to the socket. Hey guys, I have a lot of apologies after fixing my wire when going to the next project which was fixing the brushed gold around the cardboard I ended up losing some files since my phone acted up and I had to reboot the whole phone so I ended up losing some files which were not saved in the Google photo so after fixing the brushed gold this is the end look of my table lamp so I just glued the brushed gold all around and also the base part of the lamp, I added a wooden stand 
and then covered it with brushed gold and also added a golden trim around the wood to cover the wood. And the final part was adding the lampshade onto the table lamp. As for the lampshade, I made it myself using some fabric I got from a local fabric shop. Soon or later guys, I'll be posting a video of how to make a lampshade at home using some locally available materials. And finally guys, this is the end look of the first table lamp. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this simple table lamp I've just made using some recyclable items. I just love how the gold has blended in very well with the emerald green fabric. It just gives the lamp an elegant and more expensive look. You can say it's made up of cardboard and some simple items. I just love how it just turned out. And as for the second lamp, these are the items that I used for the project. For the chrome pipe, I fixed it on the chrome holder or the pipe holder. Then used some screws to hold the pipe in place. Just as I did for the first part. I then went ahead to fix the base into the cardboard pipe. On this part I had to use hot glue to hold the MDF food onto the pipe since it was fast to dry and easier to do that unlike using the wood glue which took a lot of time to dry. So I had to add some hot glue all round to secure the pipe very well onto the MDF food before proceeding to the next part. On the top part of the lamp, I wanted to fix the acrylic mirror, but too unfortunately, I couldn't make a hole on the middle part. It ended up breaking. I didn't have a reflective mirror paper at home. I really wanted to use the acrylic mirror, but it really disappointed me while making the hole on the middle part of the acrylic mirror. Once I fixed the foam board on the top part of the lamp, I used hot glue again to fix the foam board on top of the lamp. I then went ahead to the next part which was fixing the mirror tile all around the cardboard tube. I had to use hot glue for this part since the glue tends to dry fast and like a silicone glue. So I had to use hot glue to fix in the mirror tile all around the cardboard tube. As for the base, I used some circular wood which I had at home from a previous project and then used some acrylic mirror which I had at home also. I had to cut the acrylic mirror into the shape of the wood, then used some hot glue to fix the acrylic mirror on top of the wood. I then added some glitter tape on the side which I had at home. To cover the wood. As I had said earlier, since I didn't have a reflective mirror paper to cover the top part of my table lamp, I painted it black using acrylic paint, then ended up adding some slant sunflower mesh to cover the the black part. But it didn't come out very well so in case you want to cover the top part of the lamp you can use either some reflective mirror paper or you can use something else but i just ended up using this sunflower mesh i had at home to cover the black part 
As for the base, I ended up using hot glue since using screws ended up breaking my acrylic mirror so I had to use some hot glue to fix the base. After the glue was dry, I went ahead to add the lamp shade onto my table lamp. As I did onto the first lamp, I fixed in the lamp shade onto the middle part of the lamp. As you can see, this is how you fix the lamp shade onto the lamp. So the part, the lamp stay in the middle part of the bulb holder, and then you tie it up to hold the lamp into place. After it was done, I went ahead to remove the protective film of the mirror tile. After removing the protective film and cleaning down my mirror tiles, guys, this is the end look of my beautiful mirrored table lamp. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this second mirrored table lamp. I just love how the white lampshade blends in very well with the mirror tiles and also the sunflower mesh gives it a glam look and beautiful and elegant look. So let me know in the comment section between the two lamp which is your favorite and between the two lamp which matches my living room very well. And for those who haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell so as to get notified whenever I post a new video. Bye bye, see you next time for a new DIY.